Okay, hi sir. Uh, today I'm just gonna show you a product demonstration for multi-product calibrator of Neatest Make. Model is nine zero one zero plus. It's a high-end model. There are total three models. Other two models are there. We can discuss it on our other call. So today I'm gonna show you a multi-product calibrator of ninety ten plus model. Okay, fine. So in this calibrator, you can calibrator you can calibrate multimeters of three and half digit, four and half digit. Five and half digit and six and half digit as well. Okay, in this you can calibrate AC DC voltage is up to one zero five zero, current is up to thirty amps, and you can calibrate power meters. Energy is also there. Harmonics, capacitance, frequency, thermocouple, all kind of types you can calibrate. Okay, RTD two Y four Y you can calibrate, and there are other two options. One is scope oscilloscope you can calibrate. Up to 400 megahertz card is there, and other one is up to 1100 megahertz. And the second option is insulation resistor resistance. You can calibrate up to 1.5 kV as optional. Okay, so I'll just cover the points from voltage. You can see the voltage, current, resistance, capacitance, power, scope, and if you have to select option, you can select it any point, any parameter you can select, and you can. Calibrate low resistance, low voltage resistance, high voltage resistance. Anything you can calibrate from. Okay, so here I have taken one six and half digit multimeter. So this is a source and this is a measure. So we can source from this and we can see how much it is coming here. Okay, so this is the port, right? So once if I connect to the voltage, AC voltage, so you can see the port is showing here. So we can connect it here, right? If I connect to current, so automatically port changes. Okay. So we can change the port and we can source it. So how it why it is showing because it sh it should be just to ensure that okay to avoid any mistakes. So I'll talk about voltage. So just select if I collect ten voltage. Okay, I can select here of AC voltage ten volt. And this is the operate button here. We can give a source and this is a standby. So I'll operate. So I give a ten voltage. You can see the readings. Okay, I put it on standby. I'll give another high voltage. If you want to multiply by ten, it comes hundred. It also show the signal means you are going to the high voltage. Okay, operate it. You can see the voltage. It is also giving beep to ensure that we are going to the high voltage. In standby, if you want to give five hundred volt, give five hundred also. See the response time. It's very fast. Okay, if you want to give thousand volt. Okay. Also, give thousand volt. You can see the response. Fine. Okay. Now, I talk about DC voltage. Okay. If you want to give DC voltage, I can select the DC. Okay. I select the range also. From point one millivolt, I can see whether it is showing the right input or not. Port should be same. Not a change. You can see point one millivolt. One millivolt you can operate. Let's see, one millivolt, hundred millivolt also you can see. Fine, so response time is very fast. Fine. Okay. If you want to give high voltage, you can give hundred voltage also. Right. If you want to give five hundred voltage, you can give five hundred voltage. Okay, fine. so I'll just move to the next. I'll talk about resistance, low voltage resistance, two wire, four wire. You can select it. You can edit it also, right? Okay, so I'll put it. I don't know. Okay, port will be the same. You can change to resistance. You can operate. Can see that is it. You want to give one kilo ohm, you can give one kilo ohm. You want to give hundred kilo ohm, you can operate hundred kilo. Okay. Hundred ohm also you can operate. So likewise, you can. Okay. So now I'll go go to the capacitance. I okay, selected therefore capacitance. We start from one nanofarad. Okay, 
I'll source it on my own time. You can see the result. Okay, I'll give 10 nanofarad. 10 nanofarad. Okay. I'll give 100 nanofarad. Min and max, you can see in a particular data sheet how much is the range. So likewise you can go for power, AC DC power you can see, okay, voltage, current, frequency, you can set it, wherever you require you can change the frequency and all, phase angle is also, the cosine theta is also there, you can change as, as per the requirement, if you want to add harmonics, you can add it here, you can change the, okay, energy also you can calibrate here, it should be both are single phase, right, you can calibrate energy also. You want to change the frequency you can change it from here okay time also you can set it right for energy okay. and this is a scope multiple waveforms are here you can select it with whatever you require you can also give the duty cycle whatever you require from here you can calculate power also and this is the option if you couldn't find any parameter here you can go and you can select it and you can start off Thanks. So uh, I hope you like the video. If you have any query, please get back to us.